Pastor Lynch Kaminsky. Does anybody know where that comes from? I just came up with that today when he asked me name. <laughs> Spy. <laughs> it's it's what we're just all about yeah. improvisation. Well, listen, I'm, I'm pleased because I'm just here to support Will, who is my cousin, and he is awesome. I can't believe the stuff he's coming out with. I'm like, so I said I would come along and do bits and pieces just for a laugh, really. But uh, off the ledge, it's something you have Monty Python thing, isn't it? But why do you want to join the Secret Service? Well, I just thought, why do you want to join the Secret Service? Well, I just thought about, why do you want to join the Secret Service? Well, I just thought that I could keep a secret. So you can keep a secret? What's your middle name, by the way? Uh, Arthur Glitch Kavinsky. Oh, you're not Russian, are you? Well, yes, I am. Oh, out you go, we can't have Russians in the Secret Service. <laughs> <laughs> This week we've had um, this thing with the referee and the sexist I and mean, it's <laughs> pathetic. It's, it's silly, isn't it? But anyway, does anyone know what is the difference between Iron Man and Iron Woman? No idea. Um, well, what's... Iron Man is a superhero and Iron Woman is a <laughs> simple instruction <laughs> superhero. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you know why women have smaller feet than men? <laughs> so that we can get closer to the sink. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm not sexist at all, I, d I disagree with any, but, um, but there we go. So I don't really write poems, and I'm, I cannot spell, I cannot, you know, where I like to... And anyway, Ernie, does anyone remember Ernie? Sure, the trans. 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 Can you remember Ernie the Trump who used to live in an old area shelter for his camp? Eee, but can you remember them welding goggles he used to wear? And all because he didn't want us to stare. Can you remember that purple tea cosy hat? His old wellies and woollen tat. He used to make me scrat, I'm sure he had nits. Thick woolly jumpers and heavy smelly old duffel coat tied up with rope. He had a scratty tash and a beard just like an old billy goat. No teeth if I remember, just gums and wobbly lips. His eyes were scary, bloodshot, grey and black, bushy eyebrows and a hairy nose, living in an old area shelter. He would mutter and grumble when he was sozzled. He would shout vulgar obscenities before taking a tumble. Dark and damp, smelly and scary, an old metal bucket for his toilet, and a beer crate his table, and a log his chair. Page three nudes and empty cans strewn upon the cold, wet, hard concrete floor. His ceiling was rusty, corrugated steel, cobwebs hanging, droplets of droplets of dew sparkling the ray of light shining through that open door, that open trap door where all steel ladders were fixed. From outside. The shelter was covered in earth, adorned with grass and weeds and flowers. Part burned papers, logs, broken bottles, squashed beer tins lay everywhere, our feet crunching as we creep around, hands outstretched, eyes abound, hearts are thumping. Hope he's not here. You go first and I'll follow. Then from in the corner we heard a groan. <laughs> All shock, <laughs> all in shock like sheep in a flock. We run for the door, screaming and shouting, when from out of the blue, standing at the steps, we see Ernie. He's dressed with white sheets and covered in blood, his hands outstretched and eyes staring. He wore no shoes or socks, his head was shaved, cut and bleeding. He held an old cutthroat razor in his hand and a stare that could erase you. With an evil smile and calm demise, he slams the big rusty door. Blackness falls as the bang of steel echoes through the shelter, caught like spiders in his web. Our hearts explode with fear and shock. Darkness so black there was no going back. Music started playing a chilly orchestra of drums. <laughs> Harps and flutes and moans echoed through the dark, damp air. 
and a fire lit up in the corner, flames small at first, then dancing and leaping into a frenzy. The moans got louder and louder, then in the dancing light of the fire we saw him, bleeding and dirty, hands tied up, hair shaven off, dressed in Ernie's clothes, goggles and wellies, it was my cousin Will. Ernie had undressed him while he was unconscious. He wanted to escape from his life as a lonely, sad tramp, and this was the only way he knew how. Will was dazed and confused, frightened of what would come next, eyes staring wildly. He shouted us like animals. He ordered us to strip off and put our clothes on the fire. We were absolutely petrified. What was he going to do? He threatened us with his cutthroat if we did not do as he asked. He would slash us, he said. So we quickly stripped off. Everyone's clothes were burned, but after he eyed me up and down, he decided he would put on my clothes along with my shoes. He was swapping identities. He thought so anyway. As the clothes erupted into flames, I could see Will sneaking up behind Ernie with a full bottle of woodpecker cider in his hand. And then, like a bolt of lightning, Will struck him across the back of the head and Ernie crashed to the floor. We all ran for the door, pulled it open and bolted up the concrete steps to find we were surrounded by hundreds of people dressed just like Ernie. Wellies, old trousers and old coat tied up with string, welding goggles, a tea cosy type hat, beard and scraggy tash, gloves with no fingers in and all of them carrying a brown leather bag. And all had eyes that glared, the whites of their eyes were bloodshot and tears were running down their cheeks. We all froze and just stared in disbelief. What the fuck's happening? Does anyone know? What happened to Ernie the Tramp?